Smart home assistants are on deck officially. And while everyone may not want an artificially intelligent, 24 seven listening microphone connected to who knows what living in their bedroom, plenty of people are finding ways to get value out of these smart devices. Let's go. Turn off Quest. With Google Homes flying off the shelves and Apple fans salivating for HomePod to be unleashed, a variety of Amazon Alexa enabled devices have hit the market. The iHome iAVS 16 is a bedside clock with far field voice technology to bring Alexa into the bedroom. Now is this just a creepy bedside companion or is this the best alarm clock you've ever had? Let's unbox it and find out. Man, you know I'm not really asleep. Look what time it is. Let's get back to the rest of the video. Now the iAVS 16 is suitable for your bedroom or office environment with built-in Alexa features to allow streaming from a few of the most popular services, smart home control, and even a port for USB charger. With a built-in mic and Bluetooth capability, this can serve as a normal wireless audio device and a speakerphone. There's not much in the box besides a user manual and power adapter. No USB or 3.5 millimeter cable. In fact, there's no aux port on the unit. The build quality of the speaker is super tough. While I wouldn't throw it around, I wouldn't worry about it being knocked over either. The fronts and sides are cased in a strong speaker grill, while the top and back are pretty hard plastic. On the back, you simply have ports for USB and charging. On the bottom, there are four quality tabs that will help keep it in place on your nightstand. On the top is where all the magic happens. Alongside your standard play, track, and volume controls, you have a Bluetooth pairing button, sleep button, Alexa functions, and a button to switch lighting modes. Now let's get it paired up. So let's go ahead and plug the iHome up and see exactly what happens. Plug it up. Ooh. All right, let's download the app and see what happens. Uh, let's go to the Play Store. Boom, iHome AVS, install. So let's open it up, see what happens. iHome, create an account, submit. So now we can add a new speaker. Please confirm you are on the Wi-Fi network you would like to con connect to your speaker. That's what we're gonna use, DVZN. All right, so we hold this button right here on the top. That's what it says. That's the Alexa button. Attempting Wi-Fi connection. Okay, now it's attempting Wi-Fi connection. Then tap the next button. Wi-Fi connection successful. Boom. So we have connected with the Wi-Fi. Let's hit finish. Assign speaker name. So let's go DVZN A Shawty. Boom. I like that. So is it gonna ask for the zip code so it can display temperatures from AccuWeather? Okay, do your device includes access to voice assistant for music, alarms, weather, news, and more. P press enable to complete the setup process. So it brings up your Amazon login. So now I was trying to verify that it's you. So after you get all of that done, where it's asking for codes and stuff like that, it come here to a page that says, we will provide iHome AVS connectivity to Amazon's A Shouty. Signed in, successfully enabled. Here's some of the things we could try. What's, Hello. what's the weather? What's the weather? In Colleen, it's 53 degrees with fog tonight. You can look for rainy weather with a low of 53 degrees. Tell me a joke. What do you call a sleepy woodsman? A slumberjack. <laughs> All right, let's go here and finish and see what we can do. So with your voice, you can control iHeartRadio, Pandora, TuneIn, and music from Amazon. You can also use Alexa to change the voice settings, so the volume. You, you have volume control, play and pause. You can set an alarm, change your alarm schedules, alarm sound preferences. You got your temperature and weather displayed here on the front. So you can see right here, it's December 18th. It's 51 degrees outside at almost 7 o'clock in the evening. The microphone I just turned off. So you turn your microphone on and off using this button. And when it's off, the bottom here will glow red. That lets you know that, you know, it's not on. So if you have multiple speakers connected to this app, 
You could come here, press up here to tap and switch them. You could change the lighting over here. You could change the, whatever source you're using right here in the middle. You can also change the controls and you can set your smart buttons here as well. Here, let's say I want to play some local music. Let's go to local music. So let's play this Day Ones by Crew 54. Let's hear, let's just hear what it sounds like. Our times are spreading. Hey, yo, no sleep, overtime, always on the job With a labor non-stop, boy, I'm always on the clock With a flow that the D-Boys can package on the block Cause I'm all about that dope, like a package with the rock And I'm cleaner than the fresh he shines So now we can come in here and change the color to whatever we want And it works pretty well It's a slight delay as soon as you, like it's not instantaneously you know, it still works pretty well. Now with the holidays here, you might be thinking about what you want to spend all that sweet, sweet gift card money on. Something like this could be definitely up your alley. After getting it set up and having it live in my bedroom for the last week or so, let me take the chance to give you my thoughts and opinions on if this is worth the money or not. Now one of the things I noticed the very first night when I set it up and we turned off the lights to go to sleep is that the front face and the buttons on top are pretty bright. Now as far as I know, there's no way to change this on the device or in the app. But I have to say as much as it was kind of annoying, you actually get used to it. And those times when you're rolling over trying to see what time it is, if you gotta get up early in the morning when it's still dark outside, having a big bright display to tell you what time it is is not that bad. And you pretty much get used to it. Now, one of the things that's a really big deal with these smart home devices is the ability to turn the microphone off. There are plenty of people who have varying degrees of concern on the overall security of having a 24 seven listening mic in your house. Now with this, you do have a button to turn it off when you don't want it to hear exactly what you're doing. My only problem with this is that the whole time the mic is off, the lights at the bottom shine red. Now I'm glad that they indicate that the mic is off, but they also do right here on top with the red mic button. That should be enough. That's just something for you to think about. Now, the fact that it does have these RGB not fully RGB, but it does have these color switch options. It's pretty cool. But in a bedroom, it may not be the most practical. Now, if you got it set up in your man cave with other RGB devices and lights, then it'll definitely look good. But in the bedroom, now this is my first in-home experience with the Amazon enabled smart device, but I've used them around family members and stuff like that before. I got to say this one actually responds pretty slow even if it does carry out the task that you wanted to do to test it out i have it here to control my lights now it's going to turn them off pretty fast but watch the response time Let's go. turn off the office okay you see, <laughs> it's not the biggest deal, but it is kind of slow. Actually in the room, we've pretty much used it to control music, you know, playing music right before you go to bed or right when you wake up and just being able to ask her to play whatever music you're in the mood for at that time is pretty cool. Now, one problem that I did notice is that sometimes when the music is playing, you have to almost scream on top of it for it to hear you. Like you wish it could hear you a little bit better over loud music. It still works perfectly fine. It's just something that may be a little bit of annoying every now and then. Just might, just, just might be a little bit of annoying, but I'm sure with updates and things to come as the system continues to update and grow, it can definitely. Now as a speaker, just listening to music, It sounds actually pretty good and gets pretty loud. Now, I probably wouldn't play it at its loudest, but I think 25 to 30 in a small room is definitely where you wanna be at for your peak listening experience. Sound-wise, I wish it had a little bit more bass, but the mids and the highs are definitely present. You could go into the app itself and mess with the EQ. That's what I did. I went in and bumped it just to give it a more full sound, which will sound good, especially when you're listening to music like hip hop, rock, 
pop, things like that. Now to wrap it all up, what I need you to do is check the link down below because I think it's actually on sale. And if you plan on purchasing it, use that one. Help your boy out, you know, a little Yuletide seasons, greeters and whatnot. You, but honestly, I feel like this could be one of the best bedroom clocks you'll ever have in your lifetime. Maybe you're laying in bed, warm and snuggly. You're watching the Bang Tech Review and you just love the device that I'm talking about. You can have this, order it from Amazon and go to sleep with visions of tech goodies dancing in your head. Is that how it goes? I don't know. Well, I'm going to get up out of here. I definitely want to wish season's greetings to you all. No matter what you celebrate or don't celebrate, you know we stay lit over here. So make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know what you did for the holidays. I want to know what tech goodies you got or that you gave. Bless somebody for this holiday season, all right? I'm going to get up out of here. It's your kid for Dookie. Holla at your boy.